Video visits are a great way to get care from the experts at Connecticut Children's, anywhere that you might be. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Grindle, a physician here at Connecticut Children's and a member of the clinical informatics team. I want to take a few minutes to walk through how to set up a video visit with your provider here at Connecticut Children's. It's pretty easy, but there are a few things that you need to do so that you have a smooth and effective visit. They break down into getting the right tools for the job, e-check-in, and connecting for your visit. I'm gonna walk you through these step-by-step step and show you how to get everything all set up. As you would expect, you have to have a way to communicate with your provider. Many of us have used a video chat program before and your video visit with your provider is really no different. To make it work, you do need a few things. First, your child needs an active MyChart account. If you do not have one, call the provider's office and they will happily get one set up for you. You then need a way to access that MyChart account and there are several options here. Option one is to use the web version of MyChart, and you would go to the website listed here. Option two, which is by far the more common option, is to use MyChart on a mobile device. And there are two ways to access MyChart on a mobile device, the standalone MyChart app or the Connecticut Children's app. Both will get you there, but the Connecticut Children's app has lots of useful information about Connecticut Children's, our services, and our providers. But as you can see, once you tap the MyChart icon in the lower right corner, you will get access to my chart and to video visits. Finally, you need a video chat program. We use Zoom at Connecticut Children's. You will need to get all of these, and it is much easier if you have them all installed in advance. So great, you have what you need, an active MyChart account, a way to access that account either through the standalone app or through the Connecticut Children's app, and finally, the Zoom app. Now to get things started with the next step, e-check-in, you will want to access your MyChart account and tap on the appointments icon. Just like an in-person appointment, there are some things that you can do to check in for your appointment. This can be done three days in advance. There are two sections to e-check-in, documents and payments. Click on e-check-in and this will take you to the documents page. There are several documents. Please read them, scrolling to the bottom, and complete the forms, either by checking the box or signing the form. When you are done, tap continue. You may have to scroll down and tap continue a second time, but that's okay. When you are done with the forms, you'll be able to tap next. Now you are able to submit your copay. Nothing gets charged now. This will be charged when you have your appointment. This just sets everything up. Select your copay and click pay. Enter payment information. Confirm that payment. Tap submit. And when you tap submit, you'll see a thank you message. As a reminder, the copay will not be charged until you have your appointment. Tap close at the top of the page and it will bring you back to the appointment page. You can now test the video connection. Scroll to the bottom and tap Zoom test. This is a great way to make sure that everything is working prior to your appointment. Now it's time for that video visit with your provider at Connecticut Children's. Use your device and access MyChart either through the MyChart standalone app or the Connecticut Children's app. Tap the appointment and then select the desired appointment and tap begin visit. The encounter will try to launch in Zoom, tap open and this will launch a Zoom meeting. You are now in a virtual waiting room and you just wait here for your provider. Don't try to sign in, you don't have to do much else. When the provider joins, you will be prompted to join the visit. Click join with video. You will then be asked how you want to set up your camera and your microphone. Accept the use of the microphone and the camera and choose the option to call using internet audio. If you do not do these things, your provider may not be able to see or hear you. You can go into settings and try to fix this later, but it is much easier to set it up correctly in the beginning. After a few seconds, you get connected for your visit. Have a great visit.